Well, this is the last thing I thought that I'd ever do. But if this story is going to be told, then it better be told by me. It's the story of an old and mighty mountain. And believe it or not, good people, I am the mountain. Yes, people, I was born when it all began. When all was dark and dust. And then came the fire and then the ice. And when the rains poured from the heavens and the great clouds of steam settled from the skies, there I stood, a tall, mighty peak, covered with glaciers in the midst of a vast mountain range, a wild and awesome land that would be someday known as Montana. Life was great, and life was good, and all was peace solitude and beauty for millions of years. Then suddenly and without warning, the valleys that surrounded me were being settled by people. I saw the trouble coming. A transcontinental railroad built through Montana in the early 1900s. And what came with the railroad? You guessed it, tourists. First, they came to see Glacier Park. But it wasn't long till they were poking around on my slopes, too. Every year, things got worse. Soon these bozos were cutting trees, building roads. But there I was, surrounded by a bunch of fools, all shouting and screaming and showing off to each other. A pitiful sight. Oh, how I longed for the peace and quiet of the old days. Yep, sorry to say that's me down there. Fifty years of what these yokels call progress and they got me looking like that. Chairlifts, condos, parking lots, daycare centers. Sure it doesn't do much for a mountain self-respect. All these skiers are giving me the willies. They got over 4,000 acres of skiing and they're still cutting new runs. And then to top things off, they started singing a song about me. Big Mountain, Whitefish, Ski the Fish, Ski the Fish. Now I'm a damn fish. Uh, we'll see about that. Listen to that trash music. Big mountain, ski the fish. Big mountain, ski the fish. It's like they're all skiing to it. Up and down all day long, then at night, big dinners, gambling, dancing, till all hours. It's a kid. Big mountain, get away. Big mountain, leave the day. Ah, it's time to start thinking big.
sleep. How can I ever get any sleep with all this ruckus going on? I've put up with this craziness long enough. It's time I paid these folks a real hard-nosed visit. That's the way it looked when I was young and mighty. Everywhere, alpine splendor surrounded me. I was powerful, dignified, not cluttered up with delicatessens and daycare centers. Oh, how I yearned for the solitude and quiet of days gone by. First thing I'm going to do is to find out whose idea these chairlifts were. I started asking a few questions of the ski patrol. They got a bunch of kids running the ski patrol. It would be hard getting any straight answers from that bunch. Yeah, they all had excuses. Oh, it wasn't my idea. No, not my fault. Then they'll tell me to see someone else. They're all passing the buck. Finally, some boy scout told me I should ride a chairlift just to see if it was as bad as I thought. Damn pipsqueak kid. Huh? And this is the reception they gave me. I got in line with the other folks for a chairlift ride. Damned if some bellhop didn't come out and ask me for a lift ticket. Well, a mountain doesn't need a lift ticket. called the rent-a-cop on me. I'll take care of that goon. Finally told me to go see the boss man. Some young yuppie kid from Seattle. Well, <laughs> I got a few good stories on that joker. He'll pay plenty to shut me up. This guy was a pushover. I walked out of that place with a pocket full of tickets. With a pocket full of lift tickets, I'll have a little fun before I close the show down. So I waxed up my old snowshoes and took a run. too much wax. I know, I should have known better than this at my age. But I had all those lift tickets. I 
got back on that chair, and you know that despite all the damage these geeks have done, I'm still a pretty sharp-looking mountain. Watched a few kids just to check their style. Not bad, but they'll be checking me out before the day's over. This should be a piece of cake. He's not gonna like the progress, the music and the bars. The complain about the rising cost and too damn many cars. I thought I'd better call you and let you know today. The old man from the mountain on his way. The old man from the mountains coming home, home, home. I thought I'd better warn you, so I called you on the phone. It's been a few years since he's been here. He decided just to roam. Now the old man. Nelly, these things aren't as easy as they look. That's about all the fun I need for one day. Better do a little more nosing around. Well, it's a good thing I came out to look things over. Just had no idea just how big this thing had gotten. Everywhere I look, there's new slopes, new buildings, more people. Big mountain, see the fish. Big mountain, it's a kick. Big mountain, get away. Big mountain, leave today. Big mountain, see the fish. Big mountain, it's a kick. Big mountain, get Just away. I wish I could find some Big place mountain. to get away from that rock and roll. Never heard such junk. Big mountain, ski the fish. Big Mountain Ski the Fish. Can you believe that? They think I'm some kind of fish. I'd like to get my hands on the jerk that wrote that song. I gotta admit, if I could ski like some of these folks, it would be a lot more fun. If I hear any more of that stupid music, I'll be putting some of those so-called musicians out of business. Maybe I should give this skiing one more try. I think if I got rid of this old gear, I'd do a lot better. Yeah, is this shredding or what? I was trying not to smile, but it wasn't easy. 
Don't know how many years it's been since I cracked a grin. Nothing to it, really. Started meeting people. A nice bunch of Tootsies from the coast wanted me to show them a few runs. Even gave me one of their balloons. Now I had people following me. Kind of like the Pied Piper. Every time I turned around, somebody was asking me something. Kind of hard just to ignore them. People sure get friendly when they put skis on. You say you need to get away. It's time to change your altitude. There's nothing standing in your way. It's time for you. By the time the sun was setting, we had a big bunch together. All cranking turns down the Tony Mat. I had more fun that day than I've had in thousands of years. But I was dog tired when nightfall came and danged if they didn't start that rocking and rolling right on schedule. I swear every night just after sundown you can hear them play the Canadian national anthem down at the beer tube. Talk about party people. Where do these Canucks get all that energy? I know Canadians are a real nice bunch, but I've heard it said more than once that most of them aren't playing with a full deck. You can draw your own conclusions, eh? Ran into a bunch of folks from the ski school. Nice bunch of people. Kinda envy these ski instructors. They get to ski all day and still get to meet lots of people and help them with their skiing.
Watching people learn to ski is quite a thrill. Especially the little ones. Seems to change everyone's personality, even my own. Doesn't matter what age, skiing is a challenge for everyone. And you do the best you can. And the better you do, the better you feel. Kind of got into a little coaching myself. Saw some young fellas skiing moguls. I could see what they were doing wrong. Way too stiff in the knees and ankles. Got them to practice loosening up. A little later, there was a mogul contest. Got them both to enter. They shredded it. I even got into it myself. I didn't do too bad. They had a special age group for me. 80 to infinity. <laughs> and I won it. The boys I helped wound up winning the whole shooting match. I got a kick out of that. Helping these kids win was more fun than winning that medal. We decided to do a little celebrating. The powder hounds were looking for some fresh snows. gets, the better these folks like it. Having that light snow fly up over your head is the biggest thrill to ski. Suppose you guessed by now that I decided against shutting this place down. Actually, I'm kind of looking forward to next year.
I'd be doing a little teaching to the ski school. I should be spending more time with the young ones. And the boys in the band asked me to sit in with them some. Got some country songs I'm going to teach them. Good people, if you ever decide to get away from the rat race, have a really good time, and do some shredding, come see me. And we'll ski the fish together. It's the genuine Montana getaway. <laughs>